What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Clayton Philpo, and today we're going to be talking about recruiters, uh, why you should go see a recruiter, when you should see a recruiter, uh, maybe you have uh, some fears of seeing a recruiter. I know a lot of people talk bad about recruiters, and I am weary of them, and you should be too, but at the same time, they are there to get you to enlist, okay? So I've got a note here. Uh, somebody sent some fan mail, uh, Claudio from Florida. And he is actually 26 years old, and he's getting ready to go see a recruiter. Now, first, let's touch on the age of 26. Um, with the numbers downsizing, it can be more difficult for somebody to join the military after the age of, I would say, 29. Uh, with that being said, it is worth your shot to go talk to a recruiter and find out what your options are. Uh, he's getting ready, man. Like in this note, he basically goes to say like, he's going to the gym every day. He's doing two a days. He's running, he's lifting, he's eating healthy. And he still feels like it's not enough. Now, this is all before he's even seen a recruiter. When I went to see my recruiter, I was still, I would say 50 to 60 pounds overweight. And the recruiter could tell you to go away and come back when you're fit. Or a good recruiter will say, you know, come to weekly workouts. We'll help you get that weight down. Or whatever it might be. So if you're over the age, if you're 17 years or, or older, you can go see a recruiter. A lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people are like 13 or 14 years old and they try to contact a recruiter. And legally, they cannot talk to you because it's against the law, at least without your parents' permission. Uh, at 17, they need parent parents' permission. And then at 18, you know, it's whatever because you're an adult. So 17 years or older, you're good to talk to a recruiter go do it, you know, go look at all the recruiters. I would even go into the army, the air force, the Navy, the coast guard, everything, everything, explore your options, see who can offer you, uh, the best job is the most important thing, you know? So what Claudio is trying to say here is he's preparing all like so hard. He's putting all the work in just to go see the recruiter. You don't have to be in the best shape of your life to go talk to a recruiter. Just go get a feel for what their expectations are, what you need to do to, to improve yourself. Uh, maybe you're just shopping around, you know, maybe you don't know what service you want to join yet. So talking to a recruiter is not bad. Uh, on another video what, that I'm going to make, it's going to be about how to talk to your parents about joining the military, especially when they're apprehensive. And another thing I would say, the number one rule is go talk to a recruiter with them and have some one-on-one -on -one time because uh, a lot of parents don't understand and you might not either exactly what entails uh, enlisting in the military or, uh, you know, becoming an officer. So moving on in the letter, Claudio goes on to say that he is putting in all this work and I'm worried about him getting burnt out. That's my worry right now. Guys, girls, don't burn yourself out trying to get prepared for the military, okay? Just make sure you're in a really good shape. If you've got weight to lose, please do it healthily. Uh, take the time, do it right, you know. Uh, I would say maybe two to three pounds per week maximum and go from there. Um, I'll, a lot of people don't like to hear that, but it's the, it's the right way to do it. It's the healthy way to do it. Um, and then once that time comes that you feel comfortable to go talk to a recruiter, go do it. Now, the, the one thing I will say about recruiters is they have quotas to meet, okay? And for the most part, you're just a number to them. And what I'm what I mean by that is each month they have to have X amount of people will go to boot camp, X amount of people enter the delayed enlistment program, uh, X amount of people on deck, you know, so, and if they don't, they get in trouble. So that is why recruiters get a bad rap because they're always pressuring people to enlist. And you have to know that they're going to be, you know, your bro, they're going to be your friend, but at the end of the day, their main objective is to get you to enlist. So with that in mind, just be weary of that. Um, don't fall for any empty promises. Make sure at the end, at the very end, before you even go to boot camp, before you even go to MEPS, uh, make sure the expectations are set. Before you go to boot camp, make sure you have your job in writing. But other than that, recruiters are pretty good dudes, man. They're, they're there to help you. Uh, they're there to get you physically fit, to get you prepared for boot camp and basic training. So don't be afraid to go see a recruiter. I encourage you to go to a recruiter with a friend, you know, bring a friend with you to talk to the person, maybe bring your parents with you. Sometimes the recruiter will even come out to your house and talk to your family, whatever it might be. So in the comments below, if you haven't seen a recruiter yet, what are you worried about? And we'll talk about it. And if you have seen a recruiter, 
tell me about your your recruiter. A lot of you are probably going to say one of two things. The one thing is going to be, my recruiter is a total bro, man. Like, he's the best. The other thing will be, my recruiter is a total hard ass. Um, so drop a comment below. We'll talk about it. No one recruiter is going to be the same as the 500 others out there. So uh, just go into it with knowing that they want you to enlist. They want, at the end of the day, they just want you to get you into the military, but you have to do what's right for you. So uh, the ball is in your court. And if you don't want to ship to boot camp, if you get a job you don't like, or you accidentally sign a paper and you regret it, they might threaten you with, oh, we're going to do legal action. You know, you signed a contract. Uh, we're going to drop you from the debt. Who cares? That One, they're not going to do any kind of legal action. I guarantee it because that would make them look so bad in the eyes of the American public. Nobody ever gets in trouble if they decide at last minute not to go to boot camp. So the other thing is if they release you from the debt, if they ever threaten to release you from the debt, call their bluff. Be like, okay, do it. And they're either going to do one or two things. So they're going to kick you out, which is fine. Then you don't need them. Or they're going to say, okay, you know, I didn't mean that. Uh, but nine times out of ten, they're not going to kick you out. They're not going to release you from the debt. They need you as a number uh, to go to boot camp, to go to basic, to enlist, or else they get in trouble. You are their most valuable asset. So the ball is in your court when you're talking to these recruiters. All right, guys. Like, comment below, and we'll talk about it. Later, y'all.